Hello again, students. I apologize for the uh, abrupt ending on the prior video. I ended up uh, actually receiving a phone call in the middle of that that interrupted my video, so I apologize. Uh, to finish our discussion, the last case study, rather, that I want you to take a look at is Case 1-7, the uh, FASB, the FASB, the Financial Accounting Standards Board. There are uh, two things that you will be asked to do as part of this particular case study. The first is to discuss the structure of the FASB. The second is to discuss how the Financial Accounting Foundation members are nominated in the process for that. Uh, in your reading on Chapter 1, there's a very good uh, organizational chart for the Financial Accounting Standards Board, uh, the organization of the board and how uh, board members are appointed, how they're governed, how they govern the FASB uh, as an organization itself. And so I would advise you to consult that and to review that in your reading. The FAF, F-A-F, the Financial Accounting Foundation, um, is chosen by, essentially its governance is chosen by constituent organizations of the accounting profession. For example, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, which is the organization that uh, elected the previous two standard setting committees, the Committee on Accounting Principles and the Accounting Principles Board, well, they no longer choose all of the members of the Financial Accounting Foundation or the Financial Accounting Standards Board. They don't choose all of the standard setting individuals, uh, but they do have influence over that process, as do some other constituent organizations of the accounting profession. Those constituent organizations choose the leaders, the Board of Trustees of the uh, Financial Accounting Foundation, which in turn chooses the members of the Financial Accounting Standards Board and the Governmental Accounting Standards Board. Uh, the FASB is composed of seven members, all of whom are full-time members with expertise and credentials uh, in the financial accounting field. And the FASB as an institution employs two separate sets of staff. One is an administrative staff that helps them to uh, operate the organization and to coordinate the FASB's activities. The other major division is a research staff that assists the uh, Financial Accounting Standards Board in conducting research uh, into uh, the issues that they face in terms of setting and creating accounting standards or updating existing accounting standards. And so they are charged with that responsibility. Uh, there is another component of the FASB I referenced in the previous video called the EITF, the Emerging Issues Task Force. Uh, the Emerging Issues Task Force is composed of individuals who are uh, all in positions. Now, they are not full-time like the members of the FASB. They have other jobs uh, outside of their service on the EITF, but they are in positions to be familiar with emerging issues uh, faced by the accounting profession. Uh, members of the largest accounting firms in the country and directors of accounting, directors of finance are on that. The FASB uh, uh, Director of Research, I believe, serves as chairman of the EITF. That is correct. The FASB Director of Research serves as the chair. And uh, also the Chief Accountant of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission serves on the EITF. Now, the Chief Accountant is not a voting member of the EITF. Rather, he, is, uh, he, he attends the meetings. He or she is expected to attend the meetings. Uh, but they are not a voting member. But they are there to be present, uh, to, uh, con get, to contribute as a representative of the Securities and Exchange Commission. And again, uh, because of their familiarity and their connection with emerging issues. Uh, the Emerging Issues Task Force also has the authority to issue GAAP to uh, make generally accepted accounting principles uh, if they reach a consensus. And a consensus of the Emerging Issues Task Force is defined as 13 of the 15 total members. So it's not a, a majority rules type of thing, or in that case, even a, a, a what we would call a super majority or two thirds. It is actually 13 of the 15. Uh, voting members have to reach a consensus before they can issue uh, an update to GAAP. So that's sort of a general overview of uh, the Financial Accounting Standards Board and the structure behind it, those charged with authority for making generally accepted accounting principles and establishing what GAAP is and what it constitutes. Um, again, you'll need to provide additional details in your uh, response to the case study through your reading and through your own research, but hopefully that will give you some background information to prime the pump and give you an idea of what you're looking for. As always, if you have any questions over these assignments or uh, over what you're looking to do, please let me know. You can contact me by email or by the other contact means that I provided for you in the syllabus and in iLearn, and I'll be glad to assist you any way I can. Have a fantastic day, fantastic rest of your week, and hopefully we will see you on Thursday.